Welcome back. There's a library in Tampa unlike any other in the area. It's a place to check out a book and check out your family's history. News Channel 8's Rod Carter joins us now with more on the details. This sounds pretty neat, Rod. It actually is really cool. The facility is state of the art. It was rebuilt and reopened this year, going from some 8,000 square feet to 26,000 square feet. But more than that, it's a repository for African American history, one of only four on the East Coast. Tampa is a city rich in history and culture. The African American experience is a part of that heritage. Once home to greats like Ray Charles and Butterfly McQueen, the woman who knew nothing about birthing babies, herself born in downtown Tampa. Even musical icons like Ella Fitzgerald frequented the Bay Area. She's even said to have written a tisket a tasket right here. Well, now there's a place in Tampa to learn about them and much more, the Robert Saunders Library on Nebraska Avenue. It is the area's only African-American research library, only one of four on the East Coast. It's in the community, about the community, for the community. Librarian Carrie Hurst says people can come here to the special section, look at old newspapers, and find rare books dealing specifically with the African-American experience. But there's much more. They can use our digital resources to digitize their own information, such as they can bring in family Bibles and such like that. And we have specialized equipment to put that information into digital format. The $7.8 million library rebuilt this year started in 1905 as the Ebor Library. It was renamed for Saunders, who was the head of the NAACP in 1952. The history of African Americans, the contributions that they have made, uh, has often been overlooked or neglected. And we've got to change that. And, and now we have a home for our history. And the library also has a special area for recording people's history. You can actually go there and put down your own family's history or your stories about the city of Tampa. And they're saving all of that throughout the system so people can go and listen to it later. Very cool idea. So some families, they have heirlooms that go, get passed mm -hmm. on and on and on. So does right. this, this place allow you to donate some of these items? You can actually take them, but they have to be very careful of some of the donations they take because the space is limited. Well, yeah. So they'll, uh, they'll take a look at it and see if they can actually use it. But yeah, they're taking all kinds of African-American history there. And so so just, uh, by the way, you can go there and, and check the place out. We need to give them a buzz because it's not staffed that particular part of the library full time. So they'd like to know when you're coming so they can. And they really, they boosted the space quite a bit. So that's, very, that's great very nice. to hear. Yeah. All right, Rod, thanks so much. Sure. All right. Now